Did you just build your gaming computer and now you have to install Windows? Well, I'm going to show you how I do it and some of my tips and tricks and hopefully it can help you. So let's get started. Hey guys, Tiago here with Classical Technology. Thank you for joining me again for another video. Please subscribe if you like my content, smash that like button, leave a comment below. I want to know how you install Windows. So installing Windows is something we always have to go through when we're building any type of PC, not only a gaming PC. Now, I've built so many computers that I started to even like the process of installing Windows and getting updates and things of that nature. It's not always fun, and I understand some people don't like it at all, but I'm going to tell you a few tips and tricks that just helped me install it easier and made it a much smoother process. So tip number one is to make sure to get a nice, fast USB hard drive, something that's maybe USB 3.0 or faster. Download the Windows image creation tool and you can create that Windows install file right on the USB drive. The faster your drive is, the easier it's gonna be just to copy things and write things to the drive. So that's my first tip. Get the fastest USB drive that you can get. I like USB drives because later on you could always put them in a drawer somewhere and if you have to reinstall Windows for some reason, you're gonna have it ready there. Tip number two is to remember to grab the latest copy of Windows if you've had the USB drive for a while. Let's say if today you go to Microsoft's website, you download Windows to install and it gives you the latest version. And we know that once in a while we do like to sort of refresh your computer and just do a clean install. Later on, make sure to update that because if you don't, as soon as you install an old version of Windows, it's going to do so many updates that you may be there hours just downloading and installing updates. So if you can grab the latest version, it's going to save you a lot of headache. The third tip is to really have the fastest hard drive that you can have for your main operating system. Now I've noticed the installation times between like a 5400 RPM hard drive and here's a hint, it's very slow compared to something like a Intel 900P or even a Samsung 970 Evo, 970 Pro, and those hard drives are ridiculously fast. Like literally it installs Windows in minutes, you don't have to wait. I remember way back in the day using those spinning hard drives, it seemed like it took forever. So especially if you like to often clean your system and just have a nice fresh install with fresh drivers, Make sure to have a fast Windows operating system hard drive. M.2 hard drives and SSDs are much cheaper now and you can get something just for your operating system and have maybe a cheaper drive for your games. So for tip number four, it's going to have to do with when you're actually installing Windows on those initial screens, it's going to ask you for your CD key. If you currently don't have one or plan on getting one later, it's okay. Just put no CD key. All that's going to do is that when you actually install Windows without doing that, it's going to give you sort of a little water mark a little warning on the bottom just saying for you to activate windows so tip number five is going to have to do with your internet so depending on your motherboard let's say if you rely on wi-fi to connect to the internet or even ethernet it's possible that when you actually do a fresh install of windows you're going to have no drivers at all. It's like, okay, I've installed Windows, everything's on the computer, but I can't connect to the internet because A, there's no Wi-Fi driver, so the Wi-Fi card is not even on. And even worse, the Ethernet port is not working because there are no drivers for the networking. So there's no way for me to get online. To make matters worse, most drivers with your motherboard are going to come on a CD. And who has a CD player nowadays? Not that many people. So there may be a good chance you're going to be sitting Sitting there with your computer built, Windows installed, and no internet because you don't have a CD drive and it didn't install the drivers automatically. Sometimes it does work depending on the type of wireless card you have or ethernet card that you have, but a couple of times for me it hasn't worked. So what I recommend doing is just maybe hopping on a different computer or before you do the clean install, download those motherboard drivers on a USB drive. That way you can easily pop it in update it and then you can get on the internet and download the latest version of all the drivers and you should be good to go. And the last advice that I have for you guys when you install Windows on your gaming PC, I just like to clear all the bloatware that may be installed. Windows likes to install some funny games sometimes and I try to keep the startup apps to a minimum. I go in the Windows setting and I really reduce the amount of stuff starting up just so it doesn't bog down my computer no matter how fast that it is. Alright guys, so hopefully with these few tips it can improve your Windows installation experience 
experience. I think most people will know how to install Windows. It's not that difficult. If you still have any questions, feel free to post in the comments below, um, or there are many other more in-depth tutorials on actually installing Windows. In this video, I just wanted to cover a couple of extra little tips and tricks that may make your process smoother. So remember to subscribe if you enjoy my videos, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.